Hello everybody, we're gonna finish going through that uh, reseller box. So, we only have a few items left, I think there's only um, 13 items in there and we've done 5, we've done 5 again, so this is gonna be the last 3. Um, that makes a really weird number of items to have in the box, but it's a little reseller box, so what are you gonna do? Alright, up first we have a Current Elliot. Size 26, which means it was just a little bit too small to fit on the mannequin. Um, these are a pair of leopard. Um, what variety of leopard? Gray leopard. So these are a pair of gray leopard. Um, I guess they'd be corduroys because as you they got that little corduroy texture there. I always make sure to point that out because we did sell one. Um, we did sell one pair of pants that they were corduroys. They think they were even listed as corduroys. But the picture, you couldn't really see the um, couldn't really see the pattern um, very well. So uh, because you couldn't see that pattern really well, the person didn't know they were corduroys, and then they um, they left us a I think a three star or two star review complaining that they were corduroys. They knew they they were listed as corduroys. I don't know why people do that, um, but they we still got the money, so probably shouldn't complain. Two star review after all the five star reviews we get it all comes out in the wash i think our average is still five stars so doesn't really <laughs> probably shouldn't complain and maybe she even took the review down um i don't i don't know just something to be aware of something i always make sure to uh note and something i make sure when i do shoot these i make sure that you can see the lines in the picture because i don't want to run into that again all right, what is next? Up next, we have a 3X1, um, size 27. Now these, not only move tags, but they also did not fit on the mannequin. Um, you know, the mannequin is a size 27, but or it's somewhere between like a 27 and 30. But when we, um, oh, and they're, they're messing with my uh, brightness there. Um, when we um, when we do the jeans, um, we do the, these are, I mean, I guess technically jeans. They're kind of a velvety stuff, but if I look at the, yeah, it's a cotton polyester blend, mostly cotton. Um, when we do the, when we do the mannequins, um, sometimes with certain brands, they're just a little bit on the small side. Um, and so they won't quite fit on the mannequin. It's not really so much the waist, because the mannequin's waist is only like that, but it's actually the, the hips. I, I think it's, it's designed that way so that it can actually hold up jeans since it is, um, like smooth plastic and it's not going to have the same grip that, um, well, this skin has. Um, so I did have to just hang these up, which actually made them really easy to shoot. So didn't really didn't really bother me too much um anyway they're new with tags uh so i think they'll go pretty good and i know that we've sold um we haven't really i think we've only gotten like two maybe three um pairs of these three one threes in our closet and i know we have sold one of them and that one did come from a fairly recent reseller big box so we definitely um it's definitely a brand that we can sell and sell fast all right now, what is the last thing we got here? The last thing we got is another pair of corduroys. These are from Seven for All Mankind. They are size, size 26. Uh, so yeah, they were another one that did not fit on the mannequin I had to hang them up. Um, but they're a pretty nice looking pair of jeans and they do have well, corduroys. And they do have these patterns on the back pockets. Now, Seven for All Mankind is one of the brands that my wife would always tell me to look for when we were going out to the um, thrift stores to do some thrifting. Um, specifically, I'd look for it at the at the Goodwill and the local, um, whatever the um, other, I think it was Volunteers of America, other thrift stores that we'd go to. Um, anyway, it's a really good brand. Um, it's something that um, something that we have sold in the past for asking price so very happy to be getting another one of those and it is in excellent condition and it looks like i have one more um item there so we didn't have 13 we had actually 14 which makes it 
lucky, I guess. Um, and the last item is a pair of J brand pants. Uh, these are size 25. So once again, they were just outside of that um, size range that I can put on mannequin, but made everything in this box easy to shoot because hanging it up is a lot easier than putting it on the mannequin. Now, these are a pair of uh, just plain pink jeans. Um, eh, not much to say about them. Um, J brand, again, brand brand we can sell, so I don't think I will have any trouble selling those. All right, that's going to do it for this video. So, uh, before we go, this is three days of mustache. Um, so, we're um, starting to see some stubble. Um, I really don't shave that often, so I don't really grow mustaches. They're any facial hair really um, that fast. Um, so, it's going to be a long month, and I really don't like the way I look without a mustache. So, these first couple days are really really tough, really anxious. Um, all right. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All that stuff's below. I don't have to tell you it is YouTube. Until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you.